All right, landed in Denver. Um, stopping to catch my breath. Been up since 4 a.m. Pacific time. It's 11, so we are here in the Denver airport. About to go pick up the car. We're gonna head to Boulder, where I am meeting up with the one and only Jane Erbacher from Australia. And we got some cool stuff in the work. We are just meeting with a ton of people here, and we're thinking about hosting a pop-up clinic. So we'll see how that goes. I haven't done that before. Car pickup time. We should get an SUV, right? Especially if we're gonna be carrying around equipment. Oh, it's cute. Among the we're about to go meet Jane Erbacher. First time. We're gonna have an awesome week. So we are here at the Alpine Training Center and there is a skier competition going on right now. And I am lucky enough to be able to jump in with the Alpine Training Center team. Uh, it's basically head to head 20 minute races for max meters. This is super exciting. We have a very special guest with us today. This is Jane Erbacher. Jane, say hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> um, we are here in Boulder, Colorado, um, because we are kind of kicking off a little something exciting that's coming down the pipeline. And I don't want to reveal it all just yet, uh, but if you guys know Jane at all, or if you don't, I encourage you to kind of go look her up and see everything that you have going on. Jane, tell everybody about yourself a little bit. Great, okay, so the first thing Shane said was that to keep it short here because he already knows how much I love to talk. I love to talk way too much. Um, but yeah. a long story that's short. Okay. That's fine. It's okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. allowed to talk a lot? Talk, yeah. yeah. <laughs> People want to hear from you. Well, they like watching you run up mountains <laughs> with like rowers so they can listen to me. Um, but a long story short, I am actually a coach and I absolutely love coaching and I do it because I love seeing people get better in any capacity. And I use the rowing machine and the ski erg as my tool to teach people how much better they can actually be. But the absolute basis of everything I do is I want to make people feel proud of what they can do, confident about what they can do, move well, and actually enjoy training and just enjoy their life. Awesome. You guys will find that, it, especially if you've listened to a lot of our stuff with Dark Horse, and when, like, the more you hear from Jane, you're going to start to understand that we share a lot of, like, communication patterns. Completely. Yeah, we very much believe in a lot of the same philosophies when it comes to coaching, to your attitude on life, to the way that you approach fitness. Like, we very, we kind of share, we have that in common. Definitely, sure. and we felt that the first time that we actually spoke is we both realized that none of this was just about rowing or yeah. just about coaching or just about fitness like it was all about being better and teaching other people to be better so yeah so we jumped into this two-man two-woman team mm -hmm. uh, in this fundraising competition yeah which was 20 minutes of skier mm -hmm. uh, as many meters as possible that was the determining factor and you flow however you want mixing yeah. through your team and we came in Fourth? Fourth, yeah. Fourth. I would have really liked to have won. I was kind of like, yeah. I was like, um, I teach everybody how to do this. I feel like I should be performing better. She was supposed to win. This gym, it was on fire tonight with yeah. all their members. It was amazing. And it was so cool being a part of it. And it was so cool having Shane on my team. But it was really inspiring, by the way. I want to learn from you. And that was like, how do we kick off the night? Yeah. Jane, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Yeah. Like, teach me. And it was so interesting because I look up to Shane. Like, I've been following you for such a long time. And when you said tell to me today, I know. <laughs> but I was like, I, when I was talking to you today and you were like, critique my ski technique, I was like, could I? Like, I'm like, I'm not sure I can actually do that. And it's so easy for a coach or somebody like who's achieved what you've achieved to not take advice from somebody because you do know a lot. And I think what makes you so great and so approachable is that you were so happy for someone to help you be better. Like there was no tickets on yourself. There was no 
ego attached to it. And like, he was skiing at 121 for 500 meter. Like he was powerful and strong, but he was so open to getting even better from that. So. Yeah. But it was an awesome time. The best. We, it was a fantastic competition. Yeah. Like she said, it was on fire in here. Yeah. It's not the biggest space, but what really brought it through was the community. And I think that was the cool part about it. It was, was the best. Competitions like this and fundraising events like really give people an opportunity to come together mm -hmm. and support each other. Mm -hmm. And I think you and I both agree that like that's such a huge part of fitness and, and all comes down to having a support system. 100%. I mean, maybe not all, but there's a very strong component of having a support yeah. system around you. Definitely. And a, and a night like this, like, I feel supported, and I didn't know anybody here when I yeah. walked in the door. Um, Completely, like I actually like want to train here. I want to like, yeah. like I would love to be a part of this community. I love it. Yeah. And I think that you always meet the best people in these training contexts, like people who are genuinely trying to do better in their life. And what I love in Australia, we have um, what's referred to as the tall poppy syndrome, and it's like. Basically, it's based on this metaphor of when a poppy grows too tall in the field, the other poppies like cut off its stem. It's like crabs in a bucket, like that's what I think. But it's basically if somebody is successful, everybody else tries to hold them back so it doesn't highlight their mediocrity. It was so apparent for me being in this space that yes, it was competitive, but it was only competitive to get more out of everybody yeah. rather than to you know keep everybody else down. And I love that. Yes. So it was a great time. Guys, expect to see more of Jane going forward. We're gonna get a ton of footage while we're here mm -hmm. in Colorado, by the way, so expect to see some uh, more fun videos as yeah. well. Also some more formal stuff. Um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us, Jane. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So and uh, guys, make sure that you subscribe and share these videos. There's nothing better than spreading the message of fitness to your friends, your family, bringing other people along, right? Not cutting somebody off when they start to succeed. Exactly. Right? All right, guys. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Thanks for tuning in.